Hey guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843 and we're back with another video, but this time we're focusing on adding a switching power supply. This will work for your Pac-Man or your Miss Pac-Man cabinet. And what we're really gonna do is we're gonna focus on a few things that are going to eliminate hum bar or eliminate that, that loud, annoying hum that you get um, when playing Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man. And a lot of times it has to do with your ground on your edge connector, which is right, right up in here. So you'll see that it gets heated up and it gets burnt up. So we're gonna bypass this whole section altogether. This is the power supply of a Pac-Man. Now I know you think that thing down in the bottom of the cabinet is your power supply, but really all that is is a power transformer. This is the actual power supply when it comes to Pac-Man. So we're gonna bypass all of this and we're gonna end up actually putting the power right to the board here. And what that's gonna do is it's going to uh, bypass all that stuff it's gonna bypass that four port fuse connector in the bottom of the cabinet, and we're going to eliminate any, like I said, hum bar or loud hum, and this is gonna be the easiest way to add a switching power supply to your Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man cabinet. So here are some of the tools I'm gonna to be using, and uh, you know, with this whole nationwide pandemic going on and we're all staying home, this is all stuff I just had around the house. Um, being an arcade repair hobbyist, I guess you could say, um, I have a lot of this stuff on hand. So I've got, you know, lots of bulk wire. I've got some tools. I've got some um, Molex connectors, some crimping pieces. Of course, I've got the Pac-Man board that we're gonna be working with, a switching power supply, a soldering iron, and some other soldering tools. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to get our wires prepped. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that those are ready to attach to the board, and then, of course, to attach to the power supply which is ultimately going to get attached inside the Pac-Man cabinet. So let's go ahead and get set up for that and we'll, we'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, so next we're going to take our wires and we're going to kind of figure out what wires we're going to use. Now this is just some random bulk wires I had because I've, I've got a box full of wires. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out which wire we're going to use for which. So what we need to do is we need to come up with wiring for, right now we're working on the low voltage side. So it's gonna be your five volts, your 12 volts, and your ground. So typically 12 volts uses an orange or a yellow cable, five volts uses a red cable or wire, and ground uses black. So just kind of seeing what we got here. I got a red wire here, an orange wire here, get some more red wires here. Well, I like that actually for my red wire right there. So we'll use that for, for the five volts. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. Um, this is if this is a black wire with an orange stripe. We'll use that for one of them. I'm not sure which one yet, but we'll set that aside. And then the third one, what else we got? This is a long wire. We got this, we got this uh, thicker orange wire. It's a little bit longer too. So we'll use those three. We'll set the rest of these aside for now, and we're just gonna focus on these three wires. All right, so the point of this is we need to actually make a break in the wires because let's say for example, we need to pull our game board out of the cabinet. If we have everything just soldered straight in and not having a disconnection point, we, there's no way we'll be able to pull that out of the cabinet without really having to do some work. So what we wanna do is we wanna make things quick and easy in the event that we need to pull this board out of the cabinet. So just about halfway through, I'm going to um, add this Molex connector for the five and the 12, and then I'm gonna add um, these, two, these two pieces here for the ground. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Now crimping these connectors can be a little challenging, especially when they're, when they're set up like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those all cleaned up and ready to go, and we'll be right back. And now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna solder on our board. So let me just sh show this image. Um, this image was actually shared by Eugene Mosh in the Facebook groups, and Eugene knows what he's talking about when it comes to arcade repair. So I definitely got this tip from Eugene. This is not my, my original plan, um, but I have done this on multiple machines. So shout out to Eugene. Thanks for sharing this information. This is gonna help a lot of people with their Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man machines. All right, so now that you got to take a look at that, let's go ahead and get set up to start soldering on our board. But what I've done, um, I've tinned all my wires so they're ready to solder directly to the board and I've tinned uh, the, the traces on the board, so we're gonna actually solder to the ground right here. We're gonna solder the five volt right here, and then we're gonna solder the 12 volt right here. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, let's get these all uh, waters, uh, these waters, let's get these wires soldered to where they need to be. So again, we're gonna do our ground, which is right below the edge connector right here. Five over here and 12 right here. All right, so first we're gonna start with our ground. 
So here's our ground wire, and I'm using um, I'm using a black wire with an orange stripe, and it doesn't matter what color wires you use, just make sure you know which wire is which, because in the end, you need to connect it to your switching power supply. All right, so we're gonna start with this one here for the ground. Let's just go ahead and heat that solder pad up that I put some solder on already, so that way it'll be nice and easy just, just to stick it in there. All right, we got a nice, good, good connection. See, we can, we can lift the board up with it. So that's a nice, good connection there. Let's go ahead and do the five volt next. So we know the five volt is the one up here to the right. Let's go ahead and get that in there. I'm just gonna go around this power supply here. All right, see, now we can, we can pick it up with that. So we got a nice good connection there. And last, we're going to do our 12 volt right here at the 12 volt line. I know, I know those wires are in the way, so let me just kind of back those out for a second here. And let's make sure, let's, let's give it the strength test. All right, so we can pick the board up with that. So now all three lines are soldered to our boards. See, there you go. Ground, five, and 12. All right, so now we already have this connected to our switching power supply. So now all we need to do is, well, we, we actually need to do a couple things. We need to connect our switching power supplies, 120 volts um, on these connectors over here, somehow into the cabinet. And we also need to make sure we remove the four fuses coming out of one of the transformers. So let me get set up for that shot and we'll move on to that next. Okay, here we are inside the arcade cabinet. Uh, this is our Pac-Man. And there's a multiple ways that we can really do this. So some people will actually cut the line heading to the monitor and, and they will actually just splice right in. I'm gonna try and go a little bit more professional route and I'm gonna try and solder my wires right here to my isolation transformer output or yeah, I think those are the output terminals. Either in or out, it doesn't really matter because long story short, we need 120 volts and both sides of that are gonna give us 120 volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of tin those up, put some fresh solder on there, so we can't get some new solder to stick to that. So that way it'll be pretty easy to solder to. There we go, there's one side. And we'll do the other side here. This old solder, a lot of times it's kind of hard to work with, so you want to add some new solder. Okay, now that we got our ends tinned, let's go ahead and see if we can just connect those right to our solder here. On that side. Have a little trouble on this side. There we go. Now we got a good connection. All right. So now that that wire is connected in place, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see here. All right, what we need to do is we need to remove these fuses over here. And I apologize for the lighting. I know we're working inside of an arcade cabinet. So we're gonna, 
I'm gonna pull these pieces out real quick. All right, so make sure your fuse block is empty. There's usually four there. I only had three in there at the time, so let's go ahead and pull those out. So those are now out. So now we're going to um, get set up for the next shot. So, all right, now that connection is made. So there we go, we've got our AC in, we've got our 5, 12, and ground out. I'm gonna go ahead and set this in the machine, make all my final connections, and then we'll power it up for the first time together. All right, so there we go. We've got the switching power supply over there in the corner. Just kind of set in there for now. We haven't secured it yet. We got all our connections made at the board, so we're good to go. So now we're gonna uh, turn the lights off and we're gonna power the machine up for the first time together. So let me just move the cabinet around and we'll do that. All right, guys, we've got it ready to go. We've got all the lights except for one turned off. Let's go ahead and power the machine up together. Let's see how well this works. Here we go. All right, we got success, guys. Look at that. We've got Pac-Man, we've got no hum bar, we've got no loud ground hum, and we're using a switching power supply. So we know it's gonna last for a long time. Let's go and try a quick game. Oh. <laughs> anyway, guys, so what we've done today is we added a switching power supply and we bypassed the edge connector for power. So technically, we really bypassed the power supply that's located on the Pac-Man PCB. This also works the same for Miss Pac-Man because technically they use the same board. So uh, we've added that switching power supply. We added new wires. We soldered directly to the PCB um, and we've eliminated the hum bar. We've eliminated the hum sound and now we're using a switching power supply. So if you have the hum bar, the hum sound, or if you want to add a switching power supply to your Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man cabinet, these are definitely the steps you want to take. So like I said, guys, this is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. You know, normally we're a vending channel, but with this whole national pandemic going on, worldwide pandemic going on, we're staying home. So we're making a couple different kinds of videos. So if you, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, comment down below with what your favorite arcade game is, or if you plan on adding a switching power supply to your Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man cabinet. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification so that way you're always, always, always notified when our new videos go live. So guys, again, thanks so much for your support. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.